everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, we'll be making a really glam and beautiful jewelry box. Here I have one of the Dollar Tree jewelry boxes that you can find in the three and five dollar section. If your Dollar Tree does not have this particular box, you can check Michaels and you can also check Amazon as well. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and take this clear piece off. Okay, so now we have this little wooden piece under here. And then we have the clear piece. All right, so now what I'm going to do is paint the entire inside and outside of the box in this piece as well with the silver Rust-Oleum spray paint. I'll do that, come back and move on to the next step. I didn't paint the bottom because it's not necessary. And here's the little insert. It's silver on both sides as well. It's a little bit warped, so I'm just going to try and manipulate it a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and put this back in place. I have some wood glue from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this and this should work fine. Now I'm going to slide this back in place. This is pretty heavy so I'm just going to put this on here to weigh it down. So I'm just going to leave this on here because this side is warped. So I need that pressure to hold that down. So I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes, then I'll come back in and fill it in with some hot glue. Okay guys, I'm back in. I think this is ready. So now I'm going to add an extra seal of hot glue around it. Okay, so now I'm going to trim around the inside with some of this bling. I cut like three rows and I'm just going to frame the inside. Next up I have some of these gems and these are squares and they are approximately 24 millimeter. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue to glue these down. Okay, so yeah, that's a good fit. Okay, so here's what the top looks like so far. Isn't that cute? So now I'll go ahead and decorate around the bottom part of the box. And I have some mirror towels that I picked up from Amazon. And these are a perfect fit. So it's gonna go exactly like that. It has adhesive on the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some extra adhesive to it to make sure that it stays in place. All right, just like that. I didn't have enough to make it here. So what I'm gonna do is just decorate that differently. All right, so now I'm going to allow that to dry. Then I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back off camera. I decided to go ahead and add one row of this mirror towel. So what I'm gonna do is just put some right here on the front and I'm gonna put some right inside of here as well. And now I'm going to put a strip all the way around here. I'll do that and then come back. Okay, I'm done adding the mirror trim around here as well. So now I want to add some mirror right on top. And it's going to take three rows. And I'm going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue to help hold it down. I went ahead and cut six rows of this bling wrap and I'm going to add it right along here.
All right, so now I'll put some along this edge here, here, and then come back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Isn't that gorgeous? I went ahead and had a mirror towel around here as well, all the way around. I'm still gonna cover this up later. But yeah, and I still need to clean up the glue from here. Now I'll take four more of these square towels and glue them here. It's not an even fit here. And I don't want anyone to get cut, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue some towels right on top of there, just like so. And now I think I'll go ahead and add two right in the center. So now I think I'll add two more around here and then um, move on to the next step. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We are almost done. Right here where the bling meets, I don't like that being seen, so I'm gonna take some rhinestones and cover that up. Finally, let's glue some feet on here. Again, I have some more crystal knobs. You guys know I love to use these as feet. So I'm gonna take some Gorilla Glue. It's been leaking, so I'll put tape on it. <laughs> So I'm gonna let this sit up overnight, come back and let you guys see what it looks like. And as promised, here's my beautiful glam jewelry box. Now I won't say completed because I will come back very soon to decorate the inside as well. Again, I absolutely love how this box turned out. I think it could be considered a unisex jewelry box. So if your man is into bling, you might consider making this for him. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Okay everyone, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.